hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video so i am getting a lot of your comments and most of the comments are regarding battery training on the ios 18.3.1 for most of the people including me 18.3.1 is going really really good i am enjoying the performance everything is working so far so good but still some people are facing different sort of issues in today's video i'm going to talk about everything you want you should know about it I am also going to talk about how you can fix the battery draining. Um, first thing first is you need to find the reason of battery draining. And to find the reason what you need to do is you see, simply need to go to the your settings app. And once you are in the settings app, you need to go to the battery section over here. And from this section, you need to see what is actually draining your battery life. So you can go over here, you can tap on this and from here you can see which is the thing that is working in the background and it is draining your battery life once you are able to get it you can see over here you can also go to the last 10 days and view any day and get to know about that what is the one thing that is running a lot in the background and that is um, draining the battery life so once you have find the app which is running the battery life what you can do is you can restrict that app for that you need to go to journal you need to go to the background app refresh and from here you can restrict that app whatever the app is um if it is draining a lot of battery life also you can do some settings um to improve the battery life and stop the overnight battery draining so what you can do is go to privacy and security and once you are here go into the tracking turn it off and the most importantly you can go into the motion and fitness and turn the fitness tracking off if you are not into it if you don't care about the how many steps your phone is recorded recording so you can also turn this off because motion tracking is always turned on it is always working in the background and it is always consuming the battery life you can also do it you can also go to a uh, journaling suggestions over here and turn these suggestions off to enhance the um a battery life these are some of the things you can do from here uh, importantly what you also need to do is try to use good charger try to use original charger or mfi charger and that again but if you can't use original charger don't use copy chargers cheap copy chargers can destroy the battery life they can ruin the battery life um they are not or recommended at all you can get the charges from a bigger brand that are suggested by the apple you can google it it is easy to find such things also you can go down over here into the analytics and improvement and turn these off too now after turning this off what it basically does you are uh, restricting most of the things in the background so it can help to you know improve the battery life and stop the overnight battery draining also what happens while you are you, you are sleeping there will be might be a lot of notifications for different apps and notifications can also consume the battery life so you can also customize the notification now if you see over here most of the notifications are turned off as you can see couple of apps will be there with the turned on notification other than that every other app notifications are off because i don't care about the notifications notifications that are critical like iMessage, whatsapp or some apps that are really important for you like fiber or something for these app the notifications are on but other than that the notifications are completely completely off which is a really really important thing this can also help to stop um overnight battery draining and help to improve the battery life now the other thing we can do is you can always turn on the low power mode before going to bed you can also automate low power mode every single night it, uh, it gets turns on and in the morning it gets turns off low power mode can also restrict um a lot of things that are going in the background it can also help you a lot these are some of the things that you can do if you want to know how you can automate low power mode i did a couple of videos about that that videos are available on the channel you can go and check out those videos too but these are the some things that you can do to enhance um the battery life of your iphone to stop the overtraining to also sometimes stop the overheating so if there is any other thing going on with you guys with the ios 18.3.1 let me know in the comment section below for me this is a decent update i am enjoying the update i'm definitely looking forward to ios 
15.4 beta 1 but however there is a one bad news about the iOS 18.4 beta 1 but I will cover that bad news in my tomorrow's video well this is all from this video i hope to catch you very very soon peace out